Blazing Beaks, the game about angry birds. <laughs> One of the games about angry birds. All right, so you know this game's a little—it's uh, a little dungeon crawler. Uh, I played it a lot within the last couple weeks. Uh, I want to share my thoughts and feelings with it uh, to you guys. Uh, right off the bat, there's a story mode, and there's a tournament mode. Uh, tournament mode's like multiplayer, but for the sake of our video, we're gonna do a story mode. So you pick from like a variety of birds. You got the duck. You got uh, okay, that's a platypus. That's not a bird, but um, you got bluebird, uh, chicken, a uh, parrot, a uh, penguin, a seagull, and this egg. And you unlock the egg by like actually um, getting to the end of the game and beating it. So if you download this game, you won't have him unlocked. But I got him because I am nice. I'm nice as hell at this game. Each character has their like different uh, stats. So like obviously they have their own uh, different kinds of guns, different kinds of um, abilities, and different uh, HP values and special things they can do. We're gonna start off with Duck because Duck is my personal favorite character. He has the most HP, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like him. All right, yeah. So the point of the game is to try to make it to the end of the floor. Uh, you got these enemies shooting at you and trying to murder your ass. And basically, you want to get like get as many like item upgrades and gun upgrades as you can. Um, so this right here, this is not like an item. This is called an artifact, and you're supposed to like pick up the artifacts, and then you can trade them in later for items. Um, and artifacts do like they do bad things to you. They're like, oh, uh, you can't shoot five seconds after taking damage, or if you get hit, like you lose coins. Or some of them even do like really, really bad things. Like, oh, uh, the range on your gun is down by 50%. Or in two player, there's one that's like, you instantly die. So like, there's a lot of, um, a lot of little things. Obviously you can see like coins and hearts. Like it's very, uh, very Binding of Isaac-esque. And this game is no joke. Like right now, I've, I've played through a lot of it, but this game's hard as hell. And that's part of the reason I really like it. Yeah, so like right here is another artifact. It's Doubles cooldown time from active ability. Yeah, so Blazing Beaks is pretty pretty sick. I'm gonna see how far we can get, because this game's kind of fucking oh, god damn it. So I'm not sure exactly how old this game is. Um But I'm sure that the it just came out on the Switch pretty recently. And then look at this guy. This guy's just bouncing on this this larva thing. Uh, I know there's an item in here, but he, what is he doing? He's just he's pumping him dry. That's that's nasty. Uh, that gave me some HP, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so like if you see that, that thing with the yellow lamp, that's the shop. Um, and basically the goal, like the shop is your best friend. You wanna, you wanna get to the shop because you gotta get rid of some of the artifacts and what they do and the bad things. You can trade them into the shop to this one specific guy. There he is. This is the guy who's gonna take all your, uh, all the crap away from you. Yeah, so I give him those three artifacts, and he plops down a whole bunch of good stuff. I think it's a really cool mechanic that you have to, like, pick up items that, you know, have negative effects on you, and being able to have to run with those until you get to this safe area where you can cash them in to this guy. And then he gives you, like, a whole bunch of upgrades. So before you get upgrades, you have to get downgrades, which is honestly really nice. Uh, small Purple Blaster is my personal favorite, so I'm going to take that one. And we're just going to keep on trucking. We're going to see how far we can get in this run. Hopefully we can beat the game. Yeah, so it takes away my active ability. I don't care at all. Uh, oh, yeah, I, you do have an active ability up in the left corner underneath, like, the gun. I'm kind of... My cursor's on top of it right now. Uh, and basically... Oh, I, I would show you, but I just, I just took it away. God dang it. Okay. Maybe next time. Hello, Froggy. And he drops... He spits out these, like these tiny little like bugs and then once you get his tongue on this log you can just kind of just shoot at him as much as you want yeah so me personally I stand in front of the log I know you can dash behind it um, but we got him and he's, he's dead zed each area has its own like theme and um, and different like enemies types like not you don't find like a repeat of enemy types unless they're like the the tiny little like green things that you see like over there like those show up in all the levels but like this red guy like he only shows up in the in the haunted area yeah so i've gotten so nice at this game i'm nice i honestly i grinded it for like i don't even know probably like two weeks straight before i was actually able to beat it just because it was insanely hard like because a lot of the time like you find yourself like stacking artifacts and you're like oh i'm gonna trade it all in 
and then you realize that the artifacts like do too much bad things to you and you end up screwed. So it's really a matter of like balancing your greed with like, you know, like, hey, uh, do I actually need all of these items? Ooh, I'm gonna get this rail gun. There it is. Duck's packing heat now. Come out, come on. There he is. Yes. Oh, I missed an artifact actually. Uh, that's okay. Like, and you can choose to leave the artifacts. You don't have to pick them up, um, which is like a neat little detail. So you can like kind of gamble with yourself. You can be like, oh, do I want this artifact? Does it do too many bad things to me? Or like, am I just gonna am I just gonna leave it? You got these fake penguin guys shooting at you. They're like they're like the evil birds. I don't even know like who's actually the antagonist of this game. Um. You just kind of like kill all these all these enemies almost for no reason uh, But I don't see any necessarily rhyme or reason like it doesn't like it says story mode But what did these birds actually what are they fighting for? Yeah, so this is the this is the active ability right ready you just kind of like slide back and forth Which is neat. Oh Oh see like I have an artifact that makes hearts explode and I totally forgot about it and you'll see right here um there's like a little, the little blue like thing that flew there. Like that's a secret door. And I think those only appear when you get hit. I'm not totally sure how they work, but then you have to, you have to hit them with your gun. Yeah, so you can see like I just got hit. So it, it popped open that secret area. And now as soon as I kill everything, we can go do that. We're getting close to the boss room. Uh, usually each floor is like, or each area is like 10 oh i'm dead okay i totally wasn't even paying attention uh and i got killed by this big um this fat fly so there you have it that's blazing beaks um definitely worth a buy um especially considering the developers probably will add more content when you choose like characters like there's a whole nother whole four spots left for different birds um, I'm sure they're going to add different items, new maybe areas, bosses, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'd get on the grind with this game early if I were you guys because it is a ton of fun, very challenging, uh, super neat concept having to downgrade yourself to uh, upgrade yourself in the future as well as it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's a great bullet hell and uh, I really enjoyed it so I wanted to share. So thank you guys very much. Until next time.